The leaves rustle in sweeping winds, beckoning me onto the streets. As a man frozen in concrete stands, in freedom, in resignation, portrayed in a selfless action. Foreign to someone ordinary, while everything is a spectacle, everyone is a prodigy, except for me, lost in the trees, making sense of my place to be. Certainly there is a grave mistake. The nation's greats walked in my place. Paros, Ilagan, Alejandro, Riman. Their legacies span the vast garden in blades of grass, infinite and brilliant. In my peers I see their resilience. I see the tenacity and grit in face of threats of all sorts, like the heroes and martyrs before, and I am everything but sure to them. And yet we dare to rise in these 25 steps with decades of struggle with stories from students of the past, from the masses that come to ask, whom do you serve as scholars of the people? Certainly it is not the monster on the land with the brittle sword, trembling from the voices that cross you the undying movement that poured a thousand toils to see glory reformed. Long live the martyrs and the poets that sung hymns of the growing resistance, reaching the mountains in the distance, in the halls in the streets that know us, raising high the barricades that once stood some fifty years before us. These great revolutionaries, the brightest of visionaries, come forward from the line of the masses with their wisdom of the struggle as our sacred passage. And the youth's existence is not futile. Fleeting and in the footnotes it may be, the conclusion and climax shall be ours, where will at last quell those in power. Our pride and joy remains in honesty, that we are satisfied with our duties as lovers, as children, as comrades, as people serving the masses, in pursuit of honor and excellency, our place in history remains solidified.